Good evening, folks. This is the Hopkinton Elementary School Building Committee, uh, our August 4th meeting. We're waiting for a quorum. Uh, I will be with you shortly. Thank you.
All right, folks, we're back. We now have a quorum. Um, we, the first part of our agenda, as always, is to have the public comment, but seeing that there's no members of the public in the audience, I suspect we'll get past that. Um, the, um, if the members had an opportunity to review the minutes from the previous meeting? Yes. Yes. I just have one question on the July 22nd minutes. <coughs> where it said the school equipment was housed at the DPW, and I don't believe that's the case. I think that was maybe the intention for the trucks to be there once the new facility is built. Yeah. But for now, I think the school equipment is all at the um, middle school. Does that sound right, John? I'm pretty sure some of it's at the DPW. Some of it is, too? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I, I, would, I would need to confirm, but I remember Mr. Rogers saying that, that some of it is stored at the DPW currently. Okay. You okay with that? The, the, yeah, no that's fine then. If, no. If, if, uh, so that's the that's the July twenty second. So the July twenty second. Do you want to move those or? Yeah. So well, I do you want to start with the June fifteenth oh, minutes so first? Either, either one. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. So when, when we're on it, what we do? The, do the, the July twenty second. So I move the July twenty second working group minutes as written in the in the packet. So move. Do we have a second? Second. A second. Do we have who, any? who is that, Rob? Rob. Yeah. Do we have any further discussion on the July 22nd minutes? Hearing none, how do you vote? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Yeah. And so voted. So I move that we approve the June 15th elementary school building committee minutes as included in the packet. Second. Second. Who was second? Me. John. Do we have any discussion? There are none. How do you vote? Aye. Okay. Aye. And it's being an <coughs> Come on, sit down. <laughs> we kept plenty of room. <laughs> we knew you were coming now. That's it for minutes, is it not? Yes. Correct. Yes. Now we have some bills to pay. I move we approve um, invoice number CPM 44-11 from Compass Project Management dated June 30th, 2015 in the amount of $7,105.05. Second. Do you have any discussion? There are none. How do you vote? Aye. 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 And it's unanimous. I move we approve invoice number 000007 from DRA dated July 3rd, 2015 in the amount of $49,500 even. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote? Aye. 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 Unanimous. I move we approve Facebook er, invoice titled Facebook April to June 2015 from Rob Nickerson dated April to June 2015 in the amount of $186.19. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote? Aye. 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 Unanimous. I move we approve invoice number CPM 44-12 from CPM dated July 31, 2015 in the amount of $7,697.80. Second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote? Aye. 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 I move invoice number 000008 from DRA dated August 3rd, 2015 in the amount of $49,500. Second. <clears throat> there any discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> It, isn't, it? isn't there one more? No. No, no. Uh, that's all I have. Okay, in the a, yeah. How about this invoice from Andrew T. Johnson? That's in. That's the, in yeah, one of the yeah, yeah, it's embedded in the the compass invoice. Yeah, that's it. Well, Tim gets paid. Thank you. Since I'm here, I can definitely say. <laughs> that. Uh, let's see. Our communications update. Communications update. Next on so, the agenda. <clears throat> we're 
keeping on keeping on with the way that we've been reaching out to the community so far with um, our social media. Um, we're planning to do some uh, kind of community engagement to help us think through different ways that we can reach out to the remainder of the town. So we've got, we've got I think, a nice core of people who have been attending our meetings and, and, uh, and spreading the word. But um, we have some ideas for how we might be able to have them help us bring more oh, people into great. the fold. So we're finalizing the plans for that right now. Um, but in the meantime, we'll continue uh, putting out as best we can the things that we're doing here with the schematic design submission um, and any upcoming project milestones. I know that Michael was talking about scheduling a, a project update. Perhaps. Oh, and right. And we were, and yeah, and we're thinking about doing another ESBC update ESBC. soon as well. I, I've been thinking a lot about um, since, since the, the, the budget number is out there now, mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's a, a substantial number, yep. um, uh, how we educate the public and bring up speed as to how we got the number and, and potentially the, the impact on their taxes. I'm particularly right. concerned this year because we've spent a lot of money. We, we, we're building the, the uh, library edition, which is 11, 14 million dollars. We're building, oh, 11. The D new D D DPW which is 14. We just spent five million dollars on land, and now we're going to go look for 45 million dollars in, in uh, November, December. So I think it's going to be a, <clears throat> a pretty tough pill for a lot of the people in town to swallow. So I think it's the onus is upon us to to be able to educate them and, and you know so they can see the value. And, and I think you're right. I think we have to we have to you know inquire about town and, and, and all the good minds we got as mm -hmm. to how we do this because right. it's going to be critical if we do it well. Well, and I think it's going to be a lot of uh, it's going to be a lot of individual reaching out. We've tried to kind of paint with the broad brush strokes uh, so far and casting wide nets, I should say, to uh, to pull people in. But now I think it's going to be, you know, we know again, we know who are <clears throat> we know who are a lot of the core supporters are of the project. Um, now it's going to be trying to, you know, sort of look in the corners and look out beyond them to try to make sure that, uh, you know, we have support beyond the beyond those core folks. Yeah, and perhaps get them to help us. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's going to that's going to be enormous. I mean, and, you know, we've said all along that this is a, a project that um, we want the community on board with, huh. not only just to kind of hear what we're doing, but also to help us push it through because we want yeah. this to be everybody's project. So. Um, we know there's a lot of great ideas out there, and so we're at the point now where I think we need to start mining them and putting them into action. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That sounds great. So one of the things that um, most communities we work in do now that we have sort of the plans and the look, the okay. budget, the cost, the schedule, the sort of approach done, and we'll know shortly what the MSBA contribution will be that will yeah. dictate the tax impact, is they do, you know, people like call it a road show, but they put it sort of a 20-minute PowerPoint presentation together, and they basically go to a group of you folks mm -hmm. would go to, and, you know, if you want others from the professional team, but obviously it's more impactful coming from yeah. the community. But um, they, and you just go to fraternal organizations, the Council on Aging, the just, you know, other boards yeah. that, that might otherwise not really have an involvement with the project, but, um, and it, you know, it's maybe 20 minutes, I mean, that's up to you guys what it is, and then it's a Q&A, and, and it just basically, you get the message out as much as possible, yeah, whoever right. wants to hear from you. Yeah. Right, and at that point, too, I think it's also imploring those folks to start reaching out to other people, so it's great that, you know, the, the Chamber of Commerce sees that presentation, but we need the members of the Chamber of Commerce to start talking to the folks that they know, right? Um, and let them know what's going on, and to Mike's point, about kind of selling the number, we've done. I think we've done a lot of these little, you know, yeah. less formal road shows already, to yeah. talking to different groups throughout the town. But we didn't have that number. So I mean, I think before it was like, okay, there's this thing called the elementary school, and we know that's happening, and that's great. But I think that the the kind of the tenor of all that changes once you start applying that number to it. Yeah, so sure. I think you know, I think that might be a great idea for us to think about doing is uh, something that is a little bit more focused on, you know, how we got to that number, what that number is, and then what that whole solution is. Maybe, maybe um, as I recall, we reached out at the beginning to all these committees and groups, and you know the, the senior citizens, the, everybody in town. Yep. Right? Girl Scout leaders, and right. we said, "Look, we're available to come out and talk." To you. And a lot of them took advantage of that. Yeah. Um, perhaps we do something similar to that again, and 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 you know, you know, carefully craft the letters so, so we encourage them to help participate mm -hmm. and. and um, you know, I think that would be a good thing as well. Yeah. Um, 
you know, because you know you have you know <clears throat> we have a whole you know, community down here of senior citizens that, that that don't get to go to too much, and you know we could we could go down there and and you know and uh, and try to speak to them as well. And, and I mean every every portion of the community, I think it's important, mm -hmm. and I think it's also important that the 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 parent-teacher organizations and stuff actually get on board with it and, right. and, and help us as well because, you know, it's it's really their school and, and uh, we're just building a building and, and so that'll be good. So, so you guys hopefully we get something like on the agenda so we can discuss it when we have more here. Sure. Because three months from now, uh, you know, it, or almost four. It's going to come pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. a lot's going to get done. I think, um, Mike, you brought up a good point too, and I know this came up at our joint meeting last weekend. I know that we, this final budget was going to be critical to that. But I think the the tax impact piece and taking this yeah. number of forty five million dollars and really making it real for people in terms of what the impact is going to be, because in a, obviously, as we know, in a building project like this, we have an op we have some different opportunities around the term of the borrowing that we can do that makes this different than. Uh, some capital projects, so I think that that'll be really important information to put into that roadshow. Yeah, and, and you know, primarily because of all the stuff we've got going on right now. Yes, yeah. we have other things. We have other things that are coming offline as well. But, mm -hmm. Right, and so it's important that the, the I guess, the town treasurer <coughs> collector, whoever pulls this together for us. You know, and we talk about. You know, I understand. Just talking today to somebody that knows Rod Eldridge, mm -hmm. says, "Mike, there's different ways you can finance it. So you don't have to finance it for 20 years. You can finance it for 30. 30 years. Yeah. You know, it's a 50-year school. So that might help with the burden a little bit because I think this year it's a little bit more than what we've been used to because we've been spending money like crazy. And, and, you know, so." The other point I wanted to make in terms of community outreach is finding a way to get residents who don't have kids in the system who might not be involved in Girl Scouts or Chamber of Commerce yeah. and getting that buy-in as well and I think that's going to be the hardest one because you yeah. don't have an easy email push to yeah. teach them about it. Yeah. it. It's funny because you know I, I recall when you know most of you probably don't recall but back when Marie Eldridge was on the school committee and she mm -hmm. spoke about it today that the, the status of our schools was in relatively poor shape. At the time, Holliston had had promoted school choice, and we had a lot of students come from up and go to Holliston. My kids interviewed over there, got accepted, and I couldn't, I just couldn't do that. And about that time, when Marie Aldridge came on, everything turned around. People realized that pretty much the schools drive the town in, in terms of good schools, good town, high quality education, People come to town, they want to be here. And from my perspective, having lived through all that, you know, pretty much it's because of the quality of the schools. There's a lot of other things too, but that's a big driving force. So <clears throat> those that don't have kids in the system, they, you know, maybe they have to be reminded that, that, you know, quality education actually benefits them in a lot other ways than just, you know, you know, the, the resale value of the property, the, you know, I mean, there's lots of ways. <coughs> and um, I think, yeah, I think we have to dig pretty deep and we have to, we, we have to, you know, not leave any stones unturned yeah. because it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard sell and, and uh, we just have to be ready for it. Right. Now, it'll be a beautiful building and, and uh, but, yeah, it's so going to have to work out. Let us know, DRA or go through us about what you need if you need help with or how you want to structure yeah. that. You guys kind of have, I think, good ideas of what you want to do, but whatever you need yeah, I think help. We'll, I think we'll talk. You, you want to come up and sit with us? You could, we got plenty of room, <laughs> as you can see. The, the uh, um, yeah, I think the, the communication thing is next three or four months is going to be a big, big deal. Yeah, and and um, and um, you know we'll, we'll get through it. Um, the uh, the uh, review of the final budget and cost estimate summary. Yes. So um, in your packet there is the final budget. So you know that we we went to the selectmen <coughs> and um, received approval and the school committee and received approval for the project subject to the final cost estimates coming in within budget. So. Um, that process concluded at the end of last week, actually even a little bit yesterday. 
and uh, we so we had two estimates done, two independent cost estimates by the the estimators that have been estimating it throughout ours and uh, DRA's estimators, and um, the two estimates came in. They um, were originally not in budget by a I wouldn't say a significant margin, but enough that it was <coughs> concerning. Um, we did have a full day reconciliation Thursday, or pretty much a full day, and some of Friday. And um, those numbers tightened up pretty well, and we got a better handle. Everyone saw the same stuff on the drawings, and the DRA and the engineers were able to inform that process in a manner that we were able to get the construction estimates down to a number, and I'm going to go through this in more detail with you, but down to a number that um, is um, within budget sufficient that we feel that it works within the total project budget and um, includes the stuff that we've been talking about and you know the last month we've talked about adding stuff like a DPW road or making the road to DPW specs. Um, we've, we've included some provision for doing something out at the uh, intersection, although that's still very ill-defined at this point. Um, the solar is included, the, the solar uh, provision of solar panels, which the town may do something different with if they want, but the money is in that. So with that, I'll just sort of walk through the Form 3011 and the differences particularly between this and the one that you guys saw uh, back in early July when you voted on the original budget. So that budget, the bottom line hasn't changed. The 45.6 million hasn't changed. Um, the construction number of 35.1 of is an increase of about $465,000 from the construction budget uh, back a month ago. Mostly that increase, it's hard to tell you what it's due to. The, the, the previous estimates were based on, you know, really concept drawing so that the one thing is the previous estimate had a very healthy contingency for development of design which we've used up a chunk of but it still has we've still left in the current construction estimate 16 percent um, design and escalation contingency so within that 35.1 million is 16 percent for design and escalation contingency it includes a construction managers contingency in that number which we will will we'll get that as part of the CM process They'll, that's part of how you manage that process um, so that four hundred and sixty five thousand dollar increase includes all those items that I mentioned earlier and what we've done in adjustments on the other parts of the line item is the design the total design fees were were reduced to by a hundred and fifty four thousand mm -hmm. and that's mostly because the original design uh, fee assumptions were based on a on a larger construction budget than what we ended up with so um, those assumptions that that was reduced uh, by one hundred and fifty four thousand the furnishings budget was scoped out better so we were able to have a, an actual budget on that the other number was really just a plug number so that reduced seventy eight thousand um, the, the, the single biggest reduction was in the construction contingency the owners contingency and construction contingency which are the last line items on the buck in the in the box on the on the page two of the form thirty eleven um, the construction contingency we had previously was um, six percent of the construction cost, both the, const the construction contingency and the owner's contingency combined. So the construction contingency is dedicated for paying change orders to the construction contract. The owner's contingency, as you see here, is, is dedicated for other non-construction blips or issues. So um, after you have a GMP, these are all post GMP contingencies. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not part of what we wouldn't use this up in the design process, theoretically. <coughs> um, by reducing the contingency from six to five point three percent, which we feel comfortable about because um, we're using CM at risk. Of course, as, as we've talked about, the, the benefit of CM at risk is, is that while there might be something a little extra in the going GMP, the, 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 the change orders should be reduced because we've picked up a lot more. We've been you know we've been gotten a lot more input into the drawing. So, I think that's 0.7 percent reduction in contingency, which is two hundred thousand um, dollars, is is. Okay, we, we feel comfortable with it. I think DRA feel comfortable. We talked with uh, DRA about it. Um, so all that together means that 
uh, the the um, budget is remains forty five point six million dollars roughly. We've informed the MSBA that we're on target for the August sixth submission with that information, and uh, we are. And the area has been working pretty. Um, aggressively to get us those information for August 6th. They've done a good job with that, so we're still going through that process. We need to vet that, but I mean, the major issue is whether or not our budgets were going to come in on time, on budget. So with that, I you know we can take questions. I did have John, I brought both of the estimates for you to take with you. Okay. Um, and I also have a little summary that sort of compares the SD to concept, but it, I was looking through it. It's hard to really justify because so much stuff has been developed that uses contingency. It's not really easy to point to one thing or another right. that changes it. Um, so I don't know if anyone has any questions they want to discuss. One quick, the escalation to midpoint of construction, did that in and of itself reduce or was it primarily just the design and pricing contingency? Um, well, we had a total in the previous estimate of 24%, I believe, 10 yeah, and 14. You had 15. Or maybe 29%. Or yeah. Some, yeah, 15 yeah. and 14. Yeah. So did the 14 come down? That 14 the, is now 6. To, to the midpoint? Of well, so PMC only estimates to the start. And I, there's a big dis debate about where you take escalation to. Yeah, well, that's that's. So, and we generally believe, and PMC believes, that you take escalation to the date of GMP. But at that point, that's when they secure trade contracts. People, that, 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 so their assumption, and when they're looking in the cost of the work, is that that already includes what they would would, would buy in as escalation. So that 6% is basically a year's worth of escalation. And you know that's that's obviously at this point crystal ball, and yeah. there is no really good crystal ball for that in this business. Uh, the Turner Cost Index just came out. The Turner publishes a quarterly cost. Uh, they said 5.5 percent. The Gilbane one has come out. They they that was a while ago, a few months ago, but that one was around four to six percent. So I think six percent is kind of the where the market is. Plus or minus, we've mm -hmm. had projects that have been a surprise. We just we just bid a charter school in New Bedford that came all the filed subbits came in on budget, you know, which was good news yeah. because we also had a project a few months before where the filed mm -hmm. subs came in over budget. So I think it's a bit volatile, frankly, and where where actually escalation is in the marketplace. But six percent, we feel is and the estimators felt that as well felt pretty comfortable. Okay. So when I said 16%, 6% was escalation, 10% is design. Well, that I understood. Yeah. You had them broke, and I can see the amount. I thought escalate, escalation to midpoint of construction was a lot more or less than, but you, as you said, your escalation to start of construction. Yeah. And for a two-year project, they can buy it out. That, yeah, that that's not multi-phased, yeah, I would think. Tim, are we on track to to exhaust the six hundred thousand for the feasibility study? Will there be, uh, any, will there be any left over? Do you suspect? Well, there, there is. There is a. Um, and can we roll that into the? So, plan? so there, there, we we are going. We're on. We're on. I think unless something comes up. We have invoices that are out there, like for uh, geotechnics and, and yeah. wetlands. And, so I'm not sure where all those invoices are yet. But um, I mean, it's largely going to be exhausted if there's a few thousand dollars. Yeah. But and they don't allow you to move that few thousand. Okay. It stays right. up. That was where I was going. But we're we're not bad shape as far as that. No, we shouldn't be. I mean, we're not going to overrun it. Okay. Are there any other questions regarding the uh, the budget at this point? Haven't been reviewed by two estimators and our crack staff. I don't know, do you have any comments? Or do you have nope. We yeah. had that opportunity to have them sit yeah. and reconcile, and uh, both estimators seem to come to the same conclusion yeah, they, once we clarified they, some. They look really close. 
Any other discussion? Nothing from me. Doesn't require a vote from us. Well, we do. Well, the, <laughs> the only thing we need to do is we need to move. We need a vote from the committee to move for the authorization of the submission. So I have. Well, a we could do that want. next, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, and we're going to discuss this draft. Uh, I just have a quick question. I wasn't at the joint meeting with the Board of Selectmen School Committee. So the number they uh, they approved authorized. Was what forty five six thirty? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty much so it's authorized them not to exceed number. Right. And, and, and we're not exceeding. Yeah, we're not right in line. Okay. And, and, uh, that was the and, and Tim did a really good job during the course of a explaining it to both the selectmen and the school committee that, that we didn't have those hard numbers yet, and, mm -hmm. but we were within a week or so, and, uh, and now we do. But, uh, the, uh, all right. Who wants to handle this set of school schematic design submission? Well, so the, that's going in on the 6th now because yep. the numbers work. So I think what you've been given is the introduction to <coughs> it. That, that, that portion yep. of it. Yep. Like yeah. three or four pages. I mean, the, the submission it. itself is well, pretty yep. thick and detailed. Yeah. But if people did have any comment on the introduction, you know, I know Pim has some. I just have um, some grammatical grammatical things. stuff which you sh we can just give to us and then but if there's some particular um, substantive comment the, we should discuss the only thing that. that I would suggest adding in the project schedule milestones is you've got a um, subsequent milestones include you know the tentative special town meeting date and then I would also say the special town election for the authorization for the total project cost. Yes because you need both of those and then that would then go in that local approval process um, the third yeah. line thing at its at its special town meeting and subsequent ballot um, and you might also want to just note in the local approval process that the school committee and board of selectmen unanimously, unanimously approve that yeah <coughs> that was pretty much the substantive bit So, Tim, this may be a semantic thing to the process, and I loathe to bring this up again since we spend so much time on it. But uh, from a, this is less from an MSBA perspective and more from a public education perspective. It says the new school will will serve 395 students in kindergarten, and I wonder if we can alter that language at all to it, because we still have had a lot of discussions with people that look at the 395 students versus the projections, and we're obviously designing it around that enrollment projection, but with sufficient right. flexibility. Well, and so I, I just I, I'm always thinking I don't know as we get to town meeting, is yeah. there something you know somebody I mean, can pick this, this up and say you're building it for 395? Yeah, this is an MSBA document okay. that is, but but to that point, I don't, and so they would not want us to start saying they could yeah. serve more. But right, um, whether we could say something like the school has been designed around a design enrollment of 395. That, that I don't know what you think about that. I'd be comfortable entering it as yeah. design enrollment. Yeah, that's not I'd, I'd be more. I'd, I'd feel more comfortable with that. And I hope that's the last time I ever bring yeah, it up. We, <laughs> we've done a good job yeah. up to now explaining that mm -hmm. you know we, the school, the facility will be able to accommodate more than that. So, yep. But mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. We should just. Uh, but, uh, that was the only thing I had. Okay. I, I will say I would like to comment that in, in terms of DRA and the hard work that the presentation uh, to the Board of Selectmen in terms of the elevations and stuff was was, was very good, no, very mm -hmm. thorough, very easy to understand, and he um, uh, did a nice job. So at, at this juncture, the MSBA is. is is pretty much happy with everything we're done. But everything we, right now is, you know, this is the major submission. Yeah, so this is but, right. um, And there'll be a meeting on the 30th of September. There is a facilities assessment subcommittee meeting that we will probably be asked to, well, I don't know, maybe we won't be asked to participate, but we'll certainly get feedback from. There are two of them that are scheduled. I don't have those dates. I'm not sure okay. if it's the 30th or not. I, okay. They haven't scheduled them yet in terms of our um, participation. 
but there are two that between now and September 30th. So this submission is for them to. This is that that is the forum where they'll give us their feedback verbally. They'll probably go, they'll also give us a lot of written feedback. Now, at what at what juncture do we come to this the 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 scope and budget agreement? The way they say we're gonna we're gonna you know give you. 41 percent amounts to this amount of dollars and uh, at what point so well, that that'll come prior to September 30th board oh, meeting yeah. oh, okay um, at some point you know we'll know the deal yeah. probably in early September well that'd be great earlier it'd be better because yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. they still have to know, we still have to talk through what's eligible for reimbursement yeah. the incentive points mm -hmm. um, all that stuff Excellent. Through the chair, I will yes, make sir. a motion to approve the submission of the schematic design submittal to MSBA of $45.6 million and is described in the draft presented tonight with modifications therein, as we've discussed. Do you need $45.63 million? $45 million. $45,629,373. <laughs> I'll second the motion. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, how do you vote? Aye. 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 It's unanimous and so voted. Who seconded again? John. That was me. John. You can't say John. You got any more? I said John. No, I didn't want to say So you guys going to give Jeff two or three days off now? Or? Yeah. <laughs> well, what about Judd? Doesn't he get some Well, time? we had his baby. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's working on bigger issues. <laughs> <laughs> New home. <laughs> I'm just, didn't mark your arrival. It was about 6.50, 6.45, do you remember? Which one? Your when, arrival when you here. Arrive. Oh, it was 6.45. Yeah. Okay. I, I text Joe, but obviously that didn't yeah. happen. <laughs> <laughs> you woke him up. <laughs> Why, where is he? I think he's in London. Okay. Well, he's probably watching online anyway. <laughs> and then I tried to email you, Tim, because I don't have your phone number. <laughs> oh, I know. I didn't. I noticed that today. I didn't have yours either. I got to get that. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get it. So that's uh, <coughs> that's that's the big business stuff. we needed. Yeah, that's, the big that's um, great. The uh, you have anything from DRA? Any kind of update or anything? Or I'd like to have you come all the way down here and not be able to say anything. Well, sorry for the late arrival. Uh, a little problem. bit of excitement out on the pike. Oh. Mm. Um, just in terms of our, our development, I think as Tim said, we've, we've been working to complete the documentation for the MSBA submission, uh, a good solid effort in terms of prior to placing the information in front of the cost estimators to tie things up and make sure that we had everybody looking at apples to apples comparisons. Um, and other than that, uh, at this juncture, we're anxious uh, we'll have this submission in Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. To give I, people an idea of the scope and the work that goes into this submission, is is that that paperwork that's on your in front of you there any indication of the amount of paper that goes to the MSBA? Well, um, more more specifically, relative to the MSBA submission, um, is in fact the uh, the table of contents, which is the last yeah. two pages of the uh, yeah. packet that's in there, um, and it is. Uh, a fairly beefy extensive so our document. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to see they do some things on a thumb drive at least. Not yeah. all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Good to Thank you for all your hard work to get us to this point. Through the chair. Thank you. Um, when is the CM at risk? Um, Formally submitted. Is that formally submitted it's as part of this? We have to make a statement as part of this. In fact, I did. I am going to um, suggest Is that in here. Somewhere? No, but I'm going to suggest that a change to the intro, uh, add that into the introduction. I, I don't think it is in that. I thought yeah. I saw it actually. Oh, did you? Okay. Because I didn't. When I looked through it quickly, and I still haven't got to do it. I didn't see. It. Jim, do you remember? I thought it was included. It but could I, be. I, I did not. 
but there's a whole section within the actual submittal about construction methodology right. where you'd actually well, I was looking at the uh, table of contents to see if it was there it's the top of the second page the construction delivery right. method applied thank you by okay. the town is yeah thank yep. right you all right yep good Yeah, actually, in that particular thing, it was it approved by the town or is it approved by the ESBC? <clears throat> it's it's approved by the ESBC. So I have that okay. I have that note down. So you'll okay. you'll see that. What else so you that, 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 that's it. I mean, my, you know, right now it gets in there and then there's going to be back and forth between, you know, they'll go through us and probably there'll be, it'll be us and DRA. And then, like I said, they may want the, some representatives from the committee to go to a yeah. facilities assessment committee. I think somebody went to the last well, one. Oh, it's a big yeah. one. There. Um, so we, I don't see any real need for the committee. You know, we, obviously we can kind of like breathe a little bit now mm -hmm. and, and let the MSBA portion of it play out, um, at least through August, probably. So I, I don't see the need to schedule another meeting for August unless something comes up that we need to schedule a meeting, okay. which could happen. And we could do that, sure. Which we could do that. And questions right. from the MSBA or something right. like that. And I think in the meantime, the only, I know that you know sometimes Joe and John and I meet to talk about communications, th yeah. different, different things that we're going to try. So I think we can just continue doing that. Yeah. Uh, for, for you know, in the interim, and then discuss anything else that comes up at the next meeting. Do we want to uh, schedule the first meeting in September? Would be that would be probably a good idea, I think. And uh, you know, so we have a date. And, uh, Keeping in mind that's when school starts, and the educators will be doing educating stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching. <laughs> well, and you get Maybe the first day of school would be a too. great night. Huh? Sure. Yes. <laughs> there won't be any back to school nights that night, at least. That's that's right. So when, when are we looking? September, sorry. September. So September 9th is, I have in my note that that is, at least when I put this in my calendar, there's a facilities assessment meeting scheduled for that day, the second one, at least in their MSBA calendar. Um, so if we wanted to do it that night. That would be great if we know, we'd have We that. may not be on that. That's just, I just put it in. But. If you want to set that up for now. Yeah. Um, Wednesday's good because we know it's not either school committee or board of selectmen. Have the yeah. uh, back to school nights been set yet, or are um, they usually later in the they're month? They're usually later. For, for center, they're later. So we're, yeah. we're uh, but I'm thinking able to for high school or any any of them. Uh, that's that challenge. That's pretty early. That that's early. That's pretty early. early. Okay. I mean, we Again? we are right. still st we're starting earlier, but still right. the ninth feels like it would be early. Okay. John and I are yeah. in different directions. But do you want to? Um, so that might cause an issue with DRA, I think, the 9th. So okay. could either do, I can't do the 10th, um, but I could do the 8th. And I, I don't know that that facilities committee meeting is going to occur. So. I can do the 8th. Can, you, can people do the 8th? Mm -hmm. I can. I can. I can do the 8th. And by the way, take everything back. It's grade 6 back to school. <laughs> <laughs> On the 9th? On the 9th. Okay. Do you have a sixth grader this year? No, but I'm just, oh. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just saying it's, <laughs> yeah. It's a Tuesday, right? But it's a solid week before any other one. But Al won't be doing anything then. <laughs> <laughs> so are we saying 6.30 that night? Yeah. Here? I guess. It's possible. To be determined. <laughs> yeah. September 8th. Well, in, in hot off the, the results of the meeting at the state, it would be good to have it televised. I suspect we could have it here. Yeah, well, and we, 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 if we do it on the right 8th, now, it's, we're not probably yeah. going to have. Oh, but we'll, we'll have feedback by the 8th, trust me. So yeah. it'll yeah. be something to report mm -hmm. at yeah. a minimum. A guy I know that works at HCAM said we could use it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in good shape. So do we want to have it? Because I'll put down at HCAM tentatively then. Yeah. So we, we, got all, the we all agree we could do the 8th? Yep. Yes. Mm hmm. It's not, time, it's not a board meeting. It's not a board of selection meeting. Uh, good question. Let me check. Aren't they first and third? Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not as familiar with their schedule. And you guys are first and third. Well, then that would be the second. Yeah, be okay. That's funny. If they can come up. No, it's because I can't spell. Ah. User error. There you go. 
September 8th, there is no Board of Selectmen meeting currently on the calendar. That's a good deal. That being said, there is not one listed on the first either. either they may not have. They not or the fifth. Oh no, there is there is a fifteenth. All right, so, so that's the next week. So yeah, the fifteenth and the twenty second is what they're doing in September. Okay. So so I think the eighth looks like it's clear. So okay. the eighth is good. Good. Is that good for you, Joe? <laughs> same time, same station. Six thirty. Mm -hmm. Here, unless we hear otherwise. Sounds great. All right. Okay. Can we just have some more discussion now and just stretch this out for another hour? No? No. I don't see any reason do we, to. Do we have any, oh, he is do we have any no remote motions or anything, Joe? Sure. <laughs> you want to see Joe's more not pictures here. of Jeff's baby? Or? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. I move to adjourn. Second. Is there any discussion? Not hearing Ooh. none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr.